So how important is this idea of power of 10 to our learners? This beautiful movie from 1977 talks about adding another zero. So now we are much more mindful of our power of our language for our learners to be able to see, say, and write mathematics that if I took a unit of five and I multiplied it by 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, I would get 50. If I had 50 and I multiplied it by 10, I made it 10 times bigger. One, two is 100. Three, four, 200. Five, six, 300. Seven, eight, 400. Nine, 10, 500. So what we see is that a slide in the value of the place occurs when I multiply by 10. And that's where the pattern is in either multiplying or dividing by 10 or taking one tenth of the number. Pattern is not in an add or a, sub or a subtract. Because every time I slide in place value, how much I need to add and subtract to get there would be different. So that's not the pattern. And the reason I, I, I do this sliding of place value is because when I ask for things like it's 18 and a half times 10, there is no zero to add or subtract. They need to understand this idea of a slide in value of the place. So there you have it, power of 10. I look forward to seeing you at the next video and thank you for watching.